Here we go with example PSSA 2A. It's dealing with the change of area of a rectangle. Uh, to complete this problem, we'll first read it. A string is formed into a rectangle with an area of 12 square centimeters. If it is reshaped so that the 6 centimeter side is 2 centimeters shorter, how will the area change? I like to attack this problem by making a diagram of what I do know, and I do know that the longer side is going to be six, so that's two, four, six centimeters long, and if it's going to have an area of 12, it means it's going to have to be, have a width of two centimeters. So if I make my rectangle here for a visual, I know that this is six centimeters and that this is two centimeters, and that the area is equal to 12 square centimeters. I need to reshape this and it's one continuous string and here's where a mistake is made a lot of the times. You don't just shorten this side by two, you'll also need to increase this side by two. So if we shorten this side by two, that'll be four. So we'll now have a rectangle that is four units wide and if we add four to the two it'll be four units long or four centimeters long so that gives us a square that is four by four four centimeters by four centimeters that is and the area of that is equal to four squared or four centimeters squared which is equal to 16 centimeters squared. And so we can see by changing this side, it increases the area by four square centimeters. So the correct choice here is D. Again, this has been Mr. Pi with another math lesson, this one involving the change of area of a rectangle. Remember, it's useful to use some diagrams.